Now in the next question that is question 138, it's a very standard question and you can see that thing in our study packages also. An electron moves on a straight line, path x, y as shown, you can see the path has been shown of the electron, it is approaching a coil, the coil has been given the name, the ABCD is a coil adjacent to the path of electron. So they are asking you what will be the direction of current induced, this is a chapter uh, electromagnetic induction you can say, you see if the electron is approaching, this is electron is free one, it is not flowing inside wire, this electron is free so it is creating electric field and that electric field is moving. So once it will be approaching, it will have one kind of effect and once it will be receding, it is moving towards y and receding from the coil, then it will have reverse effect. So the correct answer for this question will be the fourth one, the current will reverse its direction as the electron goes past, understand? So I will be marking answer 4 for this particular question, now switch over to question 139. Now in the next question that is question 139 which is based on uh, equation of continuity, you see here that cylindrical tube of a spray pump has radius r, one end of which has n fine holes. As I am saying it is based on equation of continuity, you are applying a formula here a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2. Now one end has radius r, another end has n fine holes, if the radius is r area it will be proportional to r, r square or you can say area is pi r square and the velocity here is v. On the other end you have they are saying n fine holes each of radius r, so what is the area n into pi r square and the v2 you are supposed to calculate, so this v2 will be the one v r square by n small r square, this is the expression you will be getting, so I will be marking answer 3 for this particular question. Switch over to next question that is question 140. Now in this uh, next question that is question 140 which is based on Young's modulus of elasticity, the formula you happen to use is Young's modulus is force upon area upon delta L by L. This is a kind of question in which you have to balance the delta L, delta L from here you can write down the expression, it can be written as WL upon YA you have to balance delta L, it is given in the question that two materials have same elongation, how? It says that the Young's modulus of steel is twice, the ratio of Young's modulus has been given and they have been given same length and same area of cross section, so L and A, they will be same for both of them. They are saying if you want the lower ends of the wire to be at the same level, what is the meaning of this statement? That initially they had the same length and finally also they want same level, that means the elongation delta L in both the wires must be same. And ultimately they want what is the weight ratio, so use this expression, delta L is same, uh, inverse of uh, W and Y, inverse of Y is there and W is there, so W becomes directly proportional to Y, if you have to calculate the ratio of W that means simply the ratio of Y and for that matter you will be marking the answer 3, 2 is to 1 will be the correct answer for this question. Now let us switch over to next question that is question 141.